The Science and History of Bullet Trains Bullet trains are extremely fast and extremely cool looking and sleek. They originate from Japan and their official name is Shinkansen. The idea for the bullet train was invented in the 1930s and back then it was called Dangan Resha, which translated into English literally meant bullet train. This idea was later renamed Shinkansen because of formality. The first ever bullet train was named Tokaido Shinkansen and went from Tokyo to Osaka and was in service just in time for the Tokyo Olympics in 1964. Trains before the Tokaido Shinkansen could make the trip from Tokyo to Osaka in 6 hours and 40 minutes, but the Tokaido Shinkansen made the trip in just 4 hours. Later, with some modifications, it also made the trip in 3 hours. The people who made the first bullet train were Hideyoshima, Shinji Sogo, Tada Naomiki, Tadashi Matsudaira, and Hajime Kawanabe. In 1957, Odakyu Electric Railway had introduced the Odakyu 3000 Series SE, which broke the existing world narrow rail train speed record with 90 miles per hour. The Tokaido Shinkansen shattered that world record. Its top speed was 130 miles per hour, 50% faster than conventional trains. You probably don't want to hear any more about the history of bullet trains, but if you do, then you can check out Wikipedia. But now let's discuss the science. Most modern bullet trains run on the concept of magnetic levitation, which is when the train is propelled by magnets on the track and in the train, and can reach speeds of more than 175 miles per hour. The previously mentioned bullet trains did not run on the concept of magnetic levitation. Magnetic levitation allows trains to eliminate the friction between the ground and the base of the train as the train never actually touches the ground. Instead, the train hovers a short distance away from the ground using magnetic levitation and is also propelled by magnets based in the ground. The magnets on the train are electronic magnets, so when the train needs to stop, all it needs to do is gradually turn off the magnets. The benefits of these kinds of trains, besides the speed, is the fact that it doesn't pollute, and it's actually a very safe way to travel. The only deaths have been suicides by people jumping off or in front of the trains. Because the train cannot slide off the rail due to magnets on each side of it, traveling by bullet train is actually safer than traveling by conventional train. However, you might fall over if you're not holding on to something very tightly while the train is accelerating, because the train accelerates very fast. Due to its increased safety, the bullet train is gaining popularity in many countries, like England, Germany, China, and the US. But there have been accidents with bullet trains. One maglev train in Japan caught fire, but people were quickly evacuated. Another maglev train in Germany collided with a maintenance train, but because of human error. Many bullet trains are being remodeled to be faster, because who doesn't want faster, right? For example, scientists are developing a vacuum rail that would allow trains to go much faster, like the Swiss Metro train system. The current models are called vac trains and go faster than 225 miles per hour. Maglev trains can operate well in a wide variety of climates, such as snow, sleet, or ice, but they have not been operated in these conditions due to safety reasons. Maglev trains can actually be more efficient than airplanes, as they have a greater lift-to-drag ratio. However, planes fly in areas of lower air density, so they are more efficient at higher altitudes than maglev trains are at sea level. Maglev trains displace less air than conventional trains, and as that is the main source of their noise, they are much quieter than conventional trains. While maglev trains may seem like the perfect solution to train pollution, they are not. It requires a great deal of energy to lift the train off the ground, and at speeds of over 100 miles per hour, maglev trains also need extra energy to maintain or accelerate speed. However, bullet trains do go very fast. The fastest ever bullet train went 361 miles per hour, just below 50% of the speed of sound at sea level, which is 768 miles per hour. Now, here is a bit more history, but just a little bit. The first patent having to do with the magnet-propelled train was given to Herman Kemper 
a German scientist who made schematics for a maglev train. Bullet trains pose a kind of challenge for slightly crazy people, as they can attempt to get on the bullet train and tie themselves on and try not to die. Of course, when this happens, most of the time they are very seriously injured or killed. If you liked this documentary, subscribe to our channel for more cool educational videos like this one.